Does Earl have any guests lined up today? Um, I believe Earl does. Uh, yes, we do. We have one lined up. I'll get out of the way then. <laughs> Are they coming in now? Uh, they're going to be calling in. Who is it? Uh, it is Director James Foley. I'm glad you said director first because nobody knows who James Foley is. Uh, he has a new. Does film. he live in a van down by the river? <laughs> no. <laughs> uh, he has a new film coming out today called Perfect Stranger, uh, starring Halle Berry and Bruce Willis, and he's. Well, also what if you got either one of those two? <laughs> we tried. We really tried. But Who's we? You well, and I tried. Right. And his bloody eyes. You ever? Uh, you ever notice this? That when he fails, it's we. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> we did everything we could. And if he gets something good, I did it. He is a team player, mm. as long as the team's losing. No, it's always a we effort. When we win, we win, and when we lose, I lose. But you're by yourself. I, Who's the we? Who's the other person? No, I always look at us as a team and as a we. What us? <laughs> you? Well, well, we didn't book James Foley. I'm telling you that right now. Yes, I booked Mr. Foley. We're not talking about <laughs> and he'll be on later today to discuss his new film. That sounds uncomfortable, Earl. I'm not going to lie to you. A film I haven't seen, Fez hasn't seen. What, what do you say? What's no. your movie about? I mean, he's done other great films at close range. Uh, Glenn Gary, Glenn Ross. Hey, he was something he did 25 years ago. What was it like meeting Sean Penn? The only question I have for him is, do you have Bruce Willis's home number? It would be cool to, have, cool to talk about Bruno. Why would I? Earl, I think you're the only one still calling Bruce Willis Bruno. Well, it is 87. Hey, uh, Skyler. Skyler, you're on the Run of Fest show. Go ahead, Skyler. Hey, Ronnie, I'm just wondering if you got a lick of sense. I didn't understand him. He said something about that we have a lick of sense. Ah. What's that mean, Skyler? I was born up north. You should have stayed gone when you had the chance. You don't need all this baggage. You know what? It, it's it's odd, but somehow you start to miss it. You know, it's like when you get out of jail. Everybody always wants that next Tuesday. You're in there checking on the boys. Well, you get used hey, to Hey, anybody get raped lately? You're always curious. You're missing everything. Sure, once you get into a routine. Yeah. Uh, here's Chris. Chris, you're on Fez. What's up, fellas? Hey, buddy. I was, I was just checking to see the... Cousin Larry and Balky coming back? Cousin Larry and Cousin Balky. I think that's a different perfect stranger ah. than what James Foley's done. That could be a great opening line for him, though, Earl. <laughs> you know, that's one of those shows I never saw, Perfect Strangers. I watched it a couple times. I've seen the commercials. It was so damn silly. It was, it was just hideous how bad that was. That was actually one of the best shows in the 80s. Well, come in, because I have no idea what you're talking about. One of the best shows of the 80s almost sounds like an insult. That's like saying one of the best songs of the 80s. I thought, um, Balky Bartokamos. You, you are as red as a fucking apple today. Yeah. What is going on? I got the worst case of windburn. Uh, usually I take a taxi to, um... What'd you do today, right on the outside of the train? <laughs> I usually that think, <laughs> the reason why you look like that is from windburn. Yeah, it's uh, God just <laughs> decided to just you screw sure me over. You sure it's not an internal thing? <laughs> is it your medicine? It could you be. You take your arms. Your ma your medicine makes you piss orange. Why? Why do you, when you come in for a second, or the interns bringing you coke? I have no who, idea what that was about. Who are you? I mean, <laughs> <laughs> what are you trying to guess what you want? All I right. don't know. I'm sorry. Before we go to perfect strangers, <laughs> you said his medicine makes him piss orange. Yeah. Are you the one staining the bathroom then? Yes. I'm sorry, Fez, but I am. The far urinal, I, I look like someone poured dye in it. Yeah. There is orange, bright orange stains all over the urinal, all over the floor. I know. And if I'm, that's you, you're not making it into the urinal. I know. And I'm going into the stall from now on. But the problem is my What are you piss, doing, pissing sulfur? It's not coming out. Stream like mm -hmm. it's just like a fucking spray? sprinkle. Like remember, Light spray. Remember that like sprinkle thing that people would put on their front lawn. Do I? <laughs> but um, that's the way it's coming out. So I can't control that. Like this. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you go back and forth as you yeah. do it. <laughs> so I'm not gonna be doing. Let using the kids the urinal. run back. <laughs> I'm just gonna use the far left uh, stall from now on. So don't go in that. But anyway, Perfect Strangers was uh, 
That was one of the best I gotta shows. I got to see some of the piss things. <laughs> oh, there, I, I'm there. so curious now. You want me to give you a sample? I'll go in a cup and give you a sample of what my yeah. piss looks like. Yeah. All right. I'll do that in private. <laughs> but have a clear cup. I'm not going to st- uh, look in one of these. <laughs> I've got to see. I got to see it from the other side. Okay. Yeah. Just piss in your hand and run back in with it. What is wrong with him? This new girl of his, Fezzi, she's too much. It is. She's too much for him to handle. Because his health is falling apart in front of our eyes. But, you know, I know you love her and you want to get married, but you're pissing orange. We can't have that. It's too much. The bathroom is stained from him missing. What are you doing, staring and looking around the No, because that's the urinal that I go to if you I have, have to go. Special urinal? I go to the one as far away from the door as possible, up against the wall. Yeah. So if I... if the I The one with the camera. The pal talk pisser. That has a camera? Yeah, it does. Great. But I go to that one, and then I saw this orange shit all over it. Shit? That's, it's that hey, thick. Shit? Those stains are that thick, and I'm like... All right, I don't know what's been in here, and I can't use this urinal now. Is it stained like for good? It looks like it, yeah. It's a big, thick stain. Earl, send somebody in there to check the piss tank. I don't even believe the story. Like someone poured varnish. What happens around here when I'm gone? I go away for a couple hours, I come back, and all hell's broken loose. This girl's too much for him. She's too much. He's not ready for this. His little body was not prepared for this. No, and now he's physically breaking down. Now that he's going to marry her. He's damaged. Next Friday night is the big party, Fez. If he lives, what I'd like to do is see him live to make it. That's all. It's going to be a week from tonight at the VIP Club, West 20th Street in Manhattan. Earl, during all your problems, your bleed outs, you ever piss orange? Never. Never, never, never. I crapped, I crapped blood, but that's about it. That, but that only lasted a few days. Sorry to hear that. <laughs> Sorry it only lasted a few days. I was trying to get you on the Today Show. He sounds like he misses it. Yeah, he does. <laughs> no, I don't. Oh, yeah. God, no. It was I only don't. a few days. A few days of glory. Just sitting on a bolt and your head spinning because you just lose whatever equilibrium you have. Don't bring it all the way over here. That is unbelievably dark. That is Tang. Yeah. He is pissing Tang. It's uh, very, very upsetting to me to see it. And uh, when it goes all over the you white... You know what? It's almost golden. He warned me that, that this would happen. And he said, I'm warning you, if you don't slow down, mister, you're going to be pissing bright orange. He said there is going to be a lot of side effects. Like what else? Yeah, I think he did mention something about my complexion. Like it's just gonna... I, your complexion is the same as that piss, which you blame on windburn. <laughs> how do you? How did you get here today that you thought you got windburn? It was quite windy <laughs> in Astoria, Queens. And what, did uh, you do walk all the way? Usually, to I work? take a cab to the subway. He came... You're fucking kidding me! How far do I... I've never even heard of a ham and egg <laughs> like this. <laughs> how far away is that? It's like 15 minute walk, and I I figure you live 15 minutes from the train that you have to catch. Right. To come here. Yes. Where do you live? Mexico. <laughs> No, it's just that's where I, that's where it is. So I a lot of times we'll take a cab, but today I walked and the how much Oh, he also said don't go out in the sunlight. So because I walked wind and sunlight, I'm in big trouble. <laughs> this is on top of my regular sensitivity. If that's from Windburn, you must have come here today by kite. <laughs> I don't feel good about myself, that's no for sure. No one travels by kite. Let's be honest. No one? No one. <laughs> James and the Giant Peach. I think he traveled by kite, maybe. I don't know. Oh. Not familiar with him. I'm an adult. <laughs> you act like you're going to drink it, but you won't. Look Look how much the fucker wants to drink it. <laughs> look at his face. He's, he's, and he's dying, though. It's almost like an urge that you have 25, to do it. 25 huh? bucks. 25 bucks. He's dying to be dared. The whole thing? I'll do the best I can. <laughs> no. <laughs> the best I can. No, is that even something dangerous because it's not nice, clean urine? Oh, I didn't even think about that. <laughs> well, it's filled with even the nice clean <laughs> makes me wonder. Well, remember we had the guy, some kind of fucking yogi or whatever, came on the show and drank his own piss? Right? Oh, yeah. He comes in, he thought it was a thing. He tried to drink his own piss. Then Paulo pissed in a cup and drank it with ice. <laughs> <laughs> and he's going like, this is really not bad. So sick. On the rocks. 
When's his wife's uh, thing? That is tomorrow. Mm. Did we send her any flowers? Yes, we did. What did we put on it? Anything nice? Well, yeah, we just put uh, deepest condolences, the same, the usual stuff. Sorry for taunting you. <laughs> I, I, hope wanna... our, I hope our attitude didn't lead to your demise. I don't want to put that on there. Oh. Also, FBA is... Uh, Putting together great. If someone's feeling you want to see a wreath that says "full blown AIDS" on it, <laughs> I just thought. If they're bad. sending flowers, just have it full bloom. <laughs> AIDS. No, the, the AIDS oh, part. Right. Is the problem. <laughs> Not the blown part. The AIDS is what everybody worries about. There it is. No. Don't do it. Come on. Why are you dying to drink your own piss? <laughs> Seriously. I need to scratch. You need Taxes a twenty five. Taxes took the fuck out of me. I don't know what's going on with America. That hey. that they're allowed to do that? Hey, you want to get mad? Try and guess how much I got back. <laughs> <laughs> You'll be fucking furious. Yeah. I don't know what my accountant did, uh. but this was like every year I've ever had put together in one. And I actually called them back up and I go, if I'm going to get fucking, you know, this is great, but I don't want to get arrested for it. Right. Uh. He's good. I don't know. Either that or we're in a dangerous situation. Let me put it this way. So far, he's so good. Don't do it. Don't. Well, Dave, let me take just it look away. At it. Huh? Let me just sniff her out. But what is the urge? Because I saw you look at it. It looks and delicious. Smile, and you you had a look like you wanted me to bet you to do I'll it. I'll be honest <laughs> with you. You know what I mean? Like, who is this? What you're thinking? And, all, and I'm not. No. I'm going to be totally honest. No, I know. That. But you, it does look like Kool-Aid. Yeah, I mean, it, it does look kind of good. Not Kool-Aid comes... Don't do it, Dave. <laughs> <laughs> Just the smell itself? Yeah. Just smell it and see what it's like. No. Now you're ready to go. Why are you looking like you want to... No one is daring you. I thought you said $25. You said that. Oh. I just found out I'm fucking into this reef thing. I'm a little upset about that. <laughs> Something else we were supposed to do, too. Something along those lines. Um. Let's see. Oh, here's a good story. So, uh, yesterday... Uh, we said we were going to take Pitsy out for his uh, dinner, and we were going to go to Ben Benson's because HTG, you somehow uh, got money out of her for your stupid birthday. Out of the kindness of her heart, she gave me two hundred fifty dollars in gift certificates to Ben Benson's. I'm going to tell you something right now. Before you ever got two hundred fifty dollars out of me, I'd be dead. My house would be burned down. <laughs> that would be a firefight. <laughs> Bef and I've known you forever, and it would be a firefight for an ass uh, ashtray given fuck <laughs> like you to get even a dime off me. I gave a more sentimental gift, a two-chore ashtray. By the way, I noticed it's almost hanging out the window where the kids <laughs> smoke. Oh, That's I okay. know. It's, uh, it's a quarter of an inch away from the window. So we're like, today, all right, you make this big pronouncement. I'm in the mood for steak. Why don't we go to Ben Benson's? Well, Sal called us, but I didn't get to his call. Sal from A.J. Maxwell's. Yes, please don't interrupt me when you see me about to say the name of his restaurant. So, Sal from A.J. Maxwell's, I didn't get a chance to him. So, as the show ends, we're sitting in here yesterday. Keith the cop comes in. Why would you guys insult Sal? And we're going, how do we insult him? You're going to Ben Benson's? Ronnie, this can't happen. This cannot happen. Yeah. Well, what are you talking about? You won't come to eat at his place. Now he's got to hear you're going to Ben Benson's? No. Well, let's just forget about it. You're going to Sal's. Sal wants to see you at A.J. Maxwell's. You need to be at A.J. Maxwell's. <laughs> you're ruining this for everybody. <laughs> so apparently there was hard feelings over us going to Ben Benson's today. Well, see, it was not a slight at Sal at A.J. Maxwell. Why would you pick another steakhouse and not his? Because I had gift certificates, and I thought that would be a nice way to use them. I was doing my Keith impression. Oh. Why are you doing this? <laughs> Why are you trying to ruin him? <laughs> so, yeah, there was very hurt feelings. I don't want to... After Eastside Dave and his fiance went in there and tried to bankrupt Sal and A.J. Maxwell's, I feel a little self-conscious about walking in the place. 450, their bill came to uh, yeah, but that's... Uh, Two right. different $150 bottles worth of wine. He put the bottles in front of us. I didn't know that they were going to cost that much. Why'd we, you have to have two? We were drinking. I mean, it was There's festive. two of them. They each stressed. had a bottle in front of them. And, uh, each Fucking had a... barfly. <laughs> he, should, I mean, he just put Seriously, the bottle of wine you're Mickey Rourke and barfly right now. I don't aspire to be. 
but he puts a nice bottle of wine. We're gonna we we liked it so much. I think that shows how much we you enjoy demand it. it more. That's right. <laughs> So, yeah. Just then they said you guys left the tip $4.50. No, they didn't say that. You, dro you dropped a 1% tip. That was a confusing night all around. I just want to sip on something Don't here. do it. Sis, don't. Not yet. Not yet. Oh, God, there he goes. No, he almost threw up. The smell itself. <laughs> the smell getting to you? It's so disgusting. Oh, my God. Hold on, wait, 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 wait. We need witnesses. Make sure the O and A guys come in. Uh, Dave's trying to drink his own piss. Oh my god! <laughs> now you promised to give me twenty five dollars. I'll put. You got four. No bullshit. From bullshit. <laughs> wait, here's what I I would do for twenty five dollars. I'll put in your part of the tip for lunch today. The twenty. 25. Twenty five bucks. Twenty five bucks. Here's his piss. Now, first of all, guys, look how. Orange, almost uh, copper or golden it is from the, uh, what kind of medicine? Just antibiotics? No, it's in my bag. Dick, it's antibiotic medicine, yes. But it's nothing that will be bad for you to drink because it's already in your body, right? I would think it would be filled with vitamins. Well, just smell it right now. You would think. How bad is oh, it? God. <laughs> Fez, give it a smell. Here, wait, 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 wait. Oh wait. Fez, I'll give it a it. smell. I want Fez to give it a smell. Let me smell Because I got to know. I got to get up. I don't huh? know how bad Wait, I got to get Fez, up. I, I don't feel let good. Let Fez have a smell. Oh, sorry. I'm Take a, a big whiff, too, Fez. You're not a sissy whiff. <laughs> oh, my <laughs> God. What's it smell like? It's like <laughs> someone pissed on really <laughs> smelly shoes. It's... Oh! It, it really... It's like <laughs> rotten fruit or something. Like if you had a bushel of peaches that went bad in a basement somewhere. All right, here he goes. It's Wait, got, don't, it's such a fertile smell. Are you sure there's something you want to do, Dave? Twenty five oh. bucks? Yeah. Oh my god. To drink your own bad <laughs> Look, he's almost Yeah, I need a much yeah, bigger no, bucket. Hey, if you spit, you're fucking getting an eight. Oh that, eight. If I spit I 25 get twenty five means, you know, kill it. I lose seventeen dollars for Yeah. Me. There he goes. Oh! Oh! <laughs> Where is he going? What happened? It went in his mouth. I know that much. <laughs> I'm almost losing it. I'm ready to throw it myself. Oh, oh my that's God. so gross. <laughs> no. <laughs> what was it like, Dave? <laughs> was it good? Oh, <laughs> oh my God. Poison tasted better when I drank it accidentally. <laughs> I was five. What? I drank poison accidentally when I was five. Accidentally, or because your mom gave it to you with your own? A little bit of both. Oh, that was in an apple. I your stepmom was trying to get rid of you. I've never done this before. I almost threw up. Man. My <laughs> eyes are actually starting to water. That was hideous. All right, oh, you get eight God. bucks for that. For not eight bucks. You didn't swallow. You spit it out once <laughs> it was in your mouth. Once you swished it around. <laughs> now I know. You, now I know you're sick. Like it was now a I wine tasting. Well. <laughs> <laughs> Ew, I just spit accidentally, and it came out orange. <laughs> so it's still in my teeth and tongue. That was, that was like a <laughs> Uncle Milty spit take that he did right before he started woofing. I think that's called a piss take, not a, a spit piss take. take. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Oh, is that disgusting? And instantaneous. Yeah. The oh, yeah. The second the piss went in his mouth, he uh, he started puking, and it sprayed all up. And of course, <laughs> yeah. Well, who's who's left to clean it up? <laughs> a lowly intern. Not anymore. Oh yeah, he's a associate producer. He got hired. Yeah. Oh, oh, he did to yeah. clean up piss. Yeah. Why the fuck don't you <laughs> delegate that responsibility to a lowly intern? Because that's uh, Lily Zilly and we'll oh, all yeah, be sued. You can't have a nice young. And lady. then I had to clean up his piss. <laughs> Is there any other business where interns have to do shit no. they have to do in radio? It's never at, like, mafia. IBM. Yeah, mafia interns <laughs> you know? have it easier. I'm interning over there at um, uh, Lehman Brothers. I uh, Yeah, I was cleaning up piss vomit uh, today. We had a down day. The market was really down. and 
Yeah. What are you getting? Some dentine for yourself? I need some. I know it's improper to chew gum on the radio, Mr. B, but I got fucking piss mouth. I would not. It's not improper to drink piss, <laughs> but chewing gum. Wow, you're offending. That's yeah, you really, That's... seriously. Look. You crossed the line. <laughs> <laughs> He's pointing and laughing to his piss. How much? All right. That are on the if you give me a straw, how much if I snort the piss oh, on no. the desk? I'll throw an extra three bucks. Give me a straw. <laughs> See, here's the thing. Damn. He pisses to show us how deeply orange his piss is now. <laughs> And then he starts to go like this. Like, <laughs> like I'm daring him when I wasn't. He's like, oh, I know what you're thinking. So he, he holds it up so you <laughs> make him for money. Right. I need the buddy. All right, eight bucks, you got it. If you had swallowed it, you would have gotten 25. All right. I'm going to snort some piss now. Oh, oh, God. <laughs> Damn, I got to get away from it. Oh, oh, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> How is it? <laughs> He's on the floor. <laughs> and here's the thing. That'll be dripping an hour and a half from now. What? Oh, yes. You're up to 11. All right, do me a favor. Wipe your piss slobber oh. off, you disgusting bastard. He's so, so hanging. He's so gross. He's got drool spit and everything hanging off of him. Oh, it's Why like does a St. Bernard with piss coming out of its mouth. <laughs> Turner and what is wrong hey. with... Get... What is wrong? Keep, keep his... All right, now Pitsy's throwing up. <laughs> Why are you running away with the paper towels? I desperately need those. Great. It's a total barfarama. <laughs> I swear to God, I almost threw up myself. That was so close. And yeah, it was one of the more exciting moments I've ever experienced. <laughs> I need to see a, p a piss, ears, note, and <laughs> nose. You're joking. Ears, what? Note, First of all, they think that... His, the problems with his dick is from fucking jelly, that he might have gotten some jelly up in there anyway. Maybe. Yeah. From fucking jelly? Yeah. Or fucking jelly? No, fucking jelly, putting himself over the top of a thing of jelly. Yeah. Oh, I thought that, 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 like, a lubricant kind of jelly. No. No, grape welches. Oh, but I <laughs> no. should have known. He, he, what he feels good with peanut Why butter? would I think it would be some kind of jelly lubricant that you use during <laughs> normal sex or something? Of course, fucking jelly. Yeah, I think they got a little bit, a little bit of the grape got in, went you've in seen, there. You've seen the Welsh's commercials. <laughs> it's great for fucking too, mom. Listen, if you microwave it, it is the next is the next closest thing to pussy. Now, trust me. He, here's the good news. Your new father-in-law, Doug, has been listening to the <laughs> show. I don't want that. So Mr. Doug. he's heard you snort piss, drink piss, and then talk about microwaving jelly and banging it. I, uh, <laughs> sir, I promise I'm done with those things after today. <laughs> you, know, you know what, though? This shows, because he did it for money, that he'll be a good provider. Right. Yeah. He'll, he'll, yeah. he'll make sure the rent is paid, the bills are paid, no matter what it takes. Sure, that's how Donald Trump got his start. Yeah. Just drinking piss and <laughs> snorting it and begging people to give him dollars. That's what he'll do when the landlord comes looking for the rent. Can I just drink my piss? <laughs> how much? How much? <laughs> a week? Can I stay another week if I drink my piss? I just got her $11. It's not a Barter system that we live in. This was the ancient Greeks. We're constantly drinking their own piss. Oh, man. You alright? I'm feeling a little funny from that now. You know what it might be from drinking piss? <laughs> hmm. That's probably what got to you. Yeah. I'm starting to feel a little heated. Yeah. Maybe there was something in those antibiotics. Antibiotics. That wasn't yeah. good for me. Yeah, is that what makes it so uh, golden uh, <laughs> yellow? Yeah, that is what, it, what happened. The doctor Cause, said that. Because I've been hearing the whole story of your your <laughs> piss problems yeah. and dick problems and uh, I feel it, for you. Thank you. It's yeah. very painful. I mean, it it really changes your life. Well, the doctor did say it came from fucking at an adult level. The first time in his life. <laughs> I ain't saying that graphic of a manner. <laughs> well, what did he say? You had honeymoon what? Cystitis. Is that the name of it? That's what the guy said in the email. Yeah. The other the doctor said I had prostatitis with urethritis mixture. My ass and my <laughs> a lot of itis. Yeah. Your ass and your cock. Yeah. No, your throat's starting to close. <laughs> <laughs> Isn't a cystitis like a cyst? Isn't that a mass? Some kind of a I didn't ask a lot of questions. No, why do that with a doctor? <laughs> Yesterday, th this is what a goer this kid is, though. They stick some kind of swab in his cock. Uh, he that? passes out, <laughs> and then they wake him up, and he comes to work. <laughs> <laughs> I've been taking a month off. <laughs> he, like, he comes in sweat like an animal. I'm going to do my best, but I don't know if I can keep it together. <laughs> they just brought me to. Oh. And then he said, the way when he wakes up, the doctor and the nurse have towels, and they're just <laughs> they're like, like he got knocked out in 1908 <laughs> and the pants are still down she had some flimsy yellow folder 
I'm like, it's not even a fucking fan. It's a they folder. Don't, they don't have doctor fans. <laughs> Wave on you. are not supposed to pass out like that. I, they should tell me when they're going to put the pipe in my cock. It was that they that doctor. It's was only ex- polite. He's a very impulsive yeah. man, Doctor Kaufman. Mm. <laughs> I didn't do it impulsively. This is the procedure. He didn't tell me he was going to do it that swift. Would you have let him? He, I don't know. I need to prepare myself. I didn't fucking dove through a window like the cowardly lion and been running out of there. <laughs> it right? would have, yeah, no it would have happened. Yeah. Fuck it, I'd rather it rots and falls off <laughs> before I let you stick anything in my dick hole. Well, that was the third time in five days, so there's going to be no more pipes in it for a, quite a while. There is no getting ready for that. <laughs> that is just uh, like uh, the old Band-Aid trick. I'll right. do it on three. One, two, <laughs> yeah. and rip. Yeah. You just, uh, all right, uh, you tell me when you're ready. Wham! I yeah. honestly just think I'd rather home. I'd rather be shot in the cock <laughs> than have someone take the time to go up there like that with a fucking wire. Yeah. Oh, this was more of a pipe the, on. Uh, what do you mean pipe? Like it was like a small PVC thin pipe because he need to he need to put it in hard and look around. So he actually, not only did he put it in, he spread oh, it around. All okay. oh, right, no, <laughs> no, no. Yeah, see, well, look, well, all the guys I grabbed I themselves. Help it. You can't. I almost it's a went down. Reaction. I yeah. almost fucking went down. You're like looking it a little peaked. Yeah. Yeah. I need some piss to bring me back into things. <laughs> How did you get three diagnoses for um? Uh, yeah, I mean, I don't know what they're doing. <laughs> I went. Well, I went to Friday, and then I that's so the much. problem. You went to Friday instead of a doctor. <laughs> <laughs> a chicken wing up his dick hole. Don't do that. Don't go to Fridays I, for your medical. No treatment. more. I'm I'm sticking with Doctor Kaufman. <laughs> Even if he does do things without my notification, like his finger in my ass, and you probably went to Charlie Kaufman. <laughs> You're just in some bizarre movie. <laughs> There's nothing you need to figure out by putting a pipe in my cock. That's not something that's something I would go to the doctor for, but not to have after I got there. No. Yeah. A pipe in, I I remember as a kid uh, uh jacking it with uh soap. Yeah. Which, which you learn very early on don't do. Yep. Yeah. Cuz on the downstroke, yeah. it pulls the skin back a little. And the tip opens up a little. Yep. Yeah. And then the soap will build up around your hand. And if a little bit gets in there, you're crying on, on the, the floor of your shower like a rape scene. Right. Yeah. And, and, and that enough is pain. But yeah. to get a pipe shoved in your dick hole, sorry. Mm-hmm. It was worse. All right, yeah. You, it was worse ever, than this. Oh. Did you ever get fuck involved in this like when you're younger and you think, yeah, we'll fuck with champagne? I fucking pour champagne on this broad. <laughs> she fucking starts freaking out like I hit her with acid. <laughs> She's screaming and trying to get out of it. I'm like, hey, I still got this fucking problem we got to take care of. <laughs> That's another thing. The things that look or sound romantic. I know. We're like, and yeah. And it's nothing. Fucking in a pool is yeah. another thing that just you don't do. Yeah. Chlorinated water is amongst the worst lubricant ever. Yeah. You get like, <laughs> ah, ah, it's like, it's like right. r- rub the rubber of an inner tube with your hand. And that kind of skipping thing <laughs> but is it, what happens. But it is fun when you pull out and then it looks like you, you've created a jellyfish. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It just fucking floats <laughs> around. <laughs> The hot tub looks like a yeah. drop soup. <laughs> yeah. I know. As far as getting in anyone else's hot tub, fuck that. No. That's ridiculous. You know the first time someone gets a hot tub, yeah. they drink and go, let's fuck in the hot tub. <laughs> right. So now when guests come over, what are They're you doing? <laughs> like animals. Oh, by the way, I just came on you. <laughs> I wish I could experience that, though. I'm, yeah. Oh, you're drinking your own piss. You're on your way. <laughs> Things are starting to happen for you. I see it. I like to spank it in the bathtub sometimes, but like Mr. Anthony says, I don't. I won't use shampoo or soap or anything. But the, the bathtub is not draining. That <laughs> you're jelly. <laughs> the bathtub isn't draining. All the time. I could see jacking in the shower or something, yeah, but yeah. in the bathtub, you're laying you, in it your feels good. In, you lay in it. Yeah, it feels real good. Can't feel water. <laughs> so warm. <laughs> No, but it's like, yeah. <laughs> Wait, you just saw him drink his own piss, and now you go, what's with this I know, guy? He's drinking <laughs> off in the bathtub. He's nuts. He's a weirdo. No, he, here's the thing. We've already forgotten, and we accept him again as a human. <laughs> How is that? No one else we know could come in here, drink their piss, and then we're discussing things <laughs> with them again. 
don't no, know. that's that's what had to happen. I was a little thirsty. Yeah. <laughs> How is the, the well the Coke chaser must have helped you? Yeah, I a little still bit. have the worst. I'll tell you what, piss has a terrible aftertaste. <laughs> <laughs> I've had the middle taste <laughs> oh, and the beginning taste. <laughs> that's <laughs> only the diet piss <laughs> has the bad yeah. aftertaste. It's like tab. <laughs> exactly. It's like the tab of urine. <laughs> oh, tab was bad. <laughs> He didn't even get the Coke uh, chaser. He tried so fast yeah. to go from piss to Coke, and he just spit the piss out all mm -hmm. over the place. I don't know what I've been eating lately, but it's not Shit. good. <laughs> You've no. been eating those pills. No, I mean, just the piss tasted so bad. I can't. You don't think it came from the pills that turned your fucking piss gold? I don't know. I'm not a doctor. But... You're taking pills for shit that you don't know what it is. <laughs> yeah. Two different types of antibiotics, in fact. Antibiotics. I love it. One in the morning it and then stop it. three. It's it's not even like it's an accent. <laughs> no. That's actually, I think, the way it's supposed to be pronounced. All right. Yeah. I'll change it. I'll, I'll <laughs> yeah, we're well, you, you say antibodies. Right. Antibiotics. And Aunt B was, uh, <laughs> was there with the whole gang. We don't say antibiotics. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Hmm? Kind of huh? <laughs> your whole theory there. I don't understand. Yeah, don't well, that to. makes sense. You don't have to understand. That's the beauty of it. Careful, you're grabbing the right thing that you're drinking out of. I've got to. <laughs> don't drink any more piss. I think he's got the taste for it now. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So I owe him 11. I owe you 11, 11 bucks. bucks right now. It doesn't seem worth it after... <laughs> I oh, contemplated. 11 bucks. Spoonful of shit gets you an even 20, my friend. No, I'm not going to be a shit eater. <laughs> Not again. No. <laughs> Come on, brown boy. You know you want to do it. <laughs> again? No. I'll eat, I'll eat someone's blood. <laughs> what? what? <laughs> it's right. like, it's I will do it if you take it right out of their neck. If you bite them on the neck and Where's suck Pepper it out. Where's Pepper Hicks? It's like some kind of <laughs> fucked up Monty Hall let's make a deal <laughs> thing that he does. <laughs> I'll drink blood. I need money. What? Now, here's the thing. This is the shit that later they run as a transcript and they make you feel bad about yourself. <laughs> yeah, if you read this, it's yeah. really bad. Right. We've done things on the air where as you're doing it, it's such a, it's a laugh riot. Right. And then you read a transcript of it and go, who the fuck did this? Who said this shit? And then, oh, right. you realize it was your, me. The problem is they don't type in background laughter. Everyone enjoyed right, yeah. it. Everyone was laughing during this one. Hmm. He then picked up the bottle and drank his own piss <laughs> to, <laughs> to the, the guffaws right, of the, to the crowd. Hoots and hollers. <laughs> <laughs> Three hours later, he dropped dead, <laughs> and then there was no more laughter. Yeah, still feel a little woozy, really. Yeah, I'm pissed. I'm gonna miss uh, your bachelor party. Ah, from what I hear, is there a firm date? <laughs> There's not a firm date for the for the wedding. No, no, for the bachelor party next Friday. Yeah, I'm gonna be uh, on vacation. Where are you gonna be? Ah, uh, cruise, going down through the Panama Canal, coming back up the ass end of Mexico, and then uh, L.A. Uh, it's beautiful going through those locks. Ah, uh, yeah. <laughs> I hear it takes hours, and it's beautiful. <laughs> Watching fucking Panamanians pull your boat through a. Uh, Thing Wait. that leaves like uh, two inches of clearance on each side. <laughs> Why the children on each uh, side screaming, "Help us! Help, help us! <laughs> money, American money, please!" <laughs> it's wonderful. Ha <laughs> ha! You're drinking champagne, <laughs> fucking jelly. You never do the thing. <laughs> <laughs> whatever you want to do. You know, whatever your heart's content is on those cruise ships. You ever do the things like down there where you throw them quarters and they dive in like? Oh they're, yeah. Like they're fucking seals. Those go. <laughs> hey. I don't feel too bad about my American self. Two go in, one comes out, you don't give a shit. Why Just should you? See a reddish tinge by the boat prop? <laughs> I don't care. Life is not as valuable down there. No. They're just like, uh, they roll with it. It absolutely isn't. It's a big problem with the uh, like in Brazil with the uh, I saw a special on kids that uh, surf on the trains down there. Just standing up. It's on a the big top. thing. They get on top of the trains and surf, and apparently thousands of kids are killed annually from uh, doing this. And I read it and just I laughed. I could give a <laughs> shit. I didn't care. And yet the jackass kids are rich now. Yeah. From yeah. kicking each other in the nuts. Same thing. These to Brazilian do it here. surfers, nothing. <laughs> No, Brazilian train surfers get killed, maimed. They run around with one arm, one leg, their whole life. Like how? How did they, you're, you're 40, 50 years old? And you have to say I was 11 and I was surfing on the train. And this happened. Maybe Money Train just came out down there. They get movies slower than us down in South America. So uh, <laughs> look at him looking her. <laughs> Steven. 
I didn't think he could get redder. <laughs> that, that is amazing. Is that embarrasses him. Not drinking yeah. his own piss, but having a joke that goes nowhere. So a money <laughs> trade. <laughs> Wesley Snipes. What All else? Right. Is, what else is in the news? <laughs> <laughs> Quick, eat your ear, earwax, <laughs> you fucking animal. <laughs> I don't know nothing. how there was ever a day where I did not like this guy. <laughs> uh, I you didn't like I, him at first. I hated Dave. Yeah. I hated him. Well, it like, happens with almost every single person. You know, absolutely. Inclu including my parents. <laughs> <laughs> so you were five. The doctor, <laughs> the we doctor smacked him. <laughs> They're like, give him another one. Yeah. And another the truth, though. Everyone I talk to, yeah, is like, you know, that Dave uh, is, is pretty uh, good. I like him. And yeah. Stuff. Oh, yeah. But I got to tell you, I fucking couldn't stand that son of a bitch when I first My met him. dear fiance had the same opinion. Really? Same reaction? Really? She fucking hate my God. I didn't know that. <laughs> She'll come back around. Happens with everybody. <laughs> yeah. Honestly. Now, what did she say to you? What did you do that she hated till now she wants she to marry She thought I was stupid. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, not like just... today. <laughs> you proved her wrong, didn't you, pissy? <laughs> I think she said that you have a different kind of stupidity now. A more likable kind of... <laughs> oh, it's a likable stupid, right. I right. try not yeah. to be. I mean, I try to make valid points as I try to do with that money train comment, <laughs> but... Uh... Yeah, that was a good one. All right, what was your big uh, tube call to O&A that you always try to bring up that you can't believe that you didn't get a laugh <laughs> I remember the night you told that when you were drunk when we did the free FM uh, yeah, show. Yeah, it was um, about waffle irons. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I, uh, what, what happened? So got, they had. Pitchy uh, remembers everything. They had a butter face <laughs> competition. Uh -huh. It was really uh, good. Yeah, Girls, course. great bodies, obviously, and ugly faces. <laughs> and they had them all out. And uh, I had on number six. They had them all posted on the internet, and people were calling up saying she's all right, she's okay. And I go. Hey, number six looks like she has the face of a waffle iron. <laughs> that was the joke. Nothing. That's Nothing. the whole joke. <laughs> Not even a car crash or no, a we were in shock. A cricket, a ping pong sound effect. <laughs> Although I knew piss drinking was in his future when I heard that joke. I was like, what the... Uh? Hey. I thought hey. it was good. <laughs> yeah. hey. He's doing that on the phone. Yeah. So that's the last time I he called. He actually tugs on his collar to get air in his neck <laughs> and, and chest area. It is hysterical. What are you, what? 1945 comedian. <laughs> Arr, let me tell you, I folks. Get, I get very warm when no. I bomb, which is... He's worried that up. the big hook is coming. Yeah, the hook is going to come out right. and get him. Arr, tough room. <laughs> Yeah, so that's the last time I called there. Yeah, thanks. Fantastic show, by the way. Thank you for the <laughs> Completely broke you. Yeah. It took a long time, but like, fuck that. Like that. <laughs> it looks like a waffle iron. He's waiting on hold, all excited. <laughs> now that Probably get butterflies that <laughs> before yeah. you're on the air. Oh, oh, it's my turn. Uh, she, she looks like a waffle iron. <laughs> and then just nothing. Hey, guys, love the show. Uh, we plunked down that phone line that says one hour, 15 minutes. He's been on hold. I'm calling up all my friends on the other phone. I'm going to be on OA. Uh, I'm on hold. Waffle I'm on hold, can. dude. Wait till you hear this line. It's classic. Something about a waffle iron and... I'm not going to blow it by telling you. Just listen. <laughs> he expected to be invited in. Oh, yeah. Show. Dude, it's Waffle Iron Guy. Let's bring him in. <laughs> Welcome to the o a Show, Waffle Iron Guy. Hey, everybody. And then that whole thing of... Hey, seriously, have you ever thought about doing this professionally? Because yeah. you've got it. That, yeah. that waffle iron shit, you can't learn that. <laughs> it's a gift from God. We can tell. What day is it? It's Tuesday. <laughs> Let's see. On Thursday. Can you come make it in on Thursday, waffle iron guy? I had sure. so much rejection in my Opie and Anthony thing because I, Steve at foundrymusic.com has these little things where you can do summaries of the show uh -huh. and like a guy was leaving so I'm like you know I, I can do a summary I listen to the show all the time I can write a summary of the show and he said write me a paragraph I don't know what the fuck I wrote but then he got back now you're not good no. oh. <laughs> he rejected me from fucking blogging <laughs> What the fuck? And everybody has no. a blog. Any retard can blog. <laughs> Have you brought that up to him since? No, I haven't. Actually, it's, I just thought of it right now. I'm sorry, you you stunk. <laughs> <laughs> You're not good enough. Not good. Not gay enough. <laughs> Wow. I'm sorry, that's terrible. Uh, that is, that's terrible. I'm sorry. You're writing. <laughs> well, you showed them all. You're drinking piss right here. Yeah. <laughs> You're doing it. You're living your dream. That's right. Now, your chick isn't going to feel like that. You know, fucked up for you. You went too far. What was that? Care. Yeah. Oh, I would hope. Or no, I... stuff you do at home. 
I think it's more things that I say. <laughs> Plus, I plan to Listerine my mouth when oh. I get home tonight. Okay. It's clean. Well, you don't. I didn't keep it in. I, I didn't swallow it. I I tried to, but I didn't. It came out. You know. I well, you don't think she's going to say something like, "I can't marry a guy who drinks his own piss on on the air." <laughs> Just a little sip. <laughs> think that doesn't sound all that outrageous. <laughs> yeah. You know, when you say it, <laughs> yes. I can't marry a guy who drinks his own piss. How right you... now, she's on the uh, phone with her dad, trying to explain theater of the mind. <laughs> I'm sure that he didn't actually do it. That's right. Well, he did, Mister Doug. No, Mr. Doug. <laughs> Mr. D. The problem is it makes her Mrs. Piss Drinker. Oh. Man. Yeah, that'll Same never go away. I'd like Mr. Doug to meet Mr. Anthony because I'd like Mr. Anthony to maybe be my best man. <laughs> I, I heard this now, knocking around, because I know, I know a Ronnie uh, just doesn't like weddings. I'm not doesn't want to even go to the wedding. <laughs> no. Which I, I'm really in that the same school of thought uh, there. I hate weddings. Oh. Uh, they are these hokey... Uh, over the top, pre produced things that, all right, the conga line now, everybody. Right. Oh, we're going to hand out the, uh, the uh, sunglasses and uh, everybody's going to uh, uh, sing uh, Sinatra. And it's Chuck E. Cheese for adults. Yeah. It's nothing we want to be a part of. Bingo. <laughs> Chuck E. Cheese for adults. It's ridiculous. Plus, I also hate this look at me thing that the bride has. Like, suddenly you're the fucking center of the universe. Yeah. This isn't a party. It's about us staring at you and we're supposed... Yep. Stop it. Go off and have your own love. Yeah. It's none of our business. We don't need to watch and endorse this thing and, and you know, give it our seal of approval and smiles and and our presence and all that crap. And does anything look hot about a wedding dress for they saying how attractive she is and how good... It looks hideous. They <laughs> cinch him up. Like uh, it's a sixteen hundreds. Yeah, you, you're you're pulling a curtain behind you. Yeah, there's nothing hot there. You can't even tell her shape. Big long train. Nothing it's worse. I'm so not talking about your girl. She's beautiful. She's beautiful. You ever see? You ever see a fat bride? Oh yeah. Oh yeah. And, and when everyone goes, y you are beautiful, and you're <laughs> right. sitting there going, she is fat. Right. It's not. You know, I guess it's the best she's looked. Right. Because the they pull those strings like they're trying to. Slow down a team of horses. <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> and they get a little bit, a little skinnier there, but for the most part, you still do. Now you're a fat girl in a bridal gown. The problem is they pull the hair up. The hair goes up. That too, the hair's so got to be up. So the face fat hangs out more. Oh, I always jowls think, like Cronkite. I always think, oh, this is great since I got her a gift certificate to Supercuts. <laughs> so I know from the way she looks, she'll enjoy that. It's not a bad gift. And I noticed after, you know, I, I, I thank uh, thank Jesus. Let me thank Jesus for my position and, and, and uh, the job and the, uh, the uh, uh, financial arrangement I have. It's wonderful. I love my, my work and, and what it's afforded me. But I get invited to a lot of weddings now because right. they expect the, the big check to be cut. Right. you got to go extra. You know, I can't be – I can't give the same as the guy that, you know, is right. a carpenter. <laughs> or something like that. They open. They must be like, oh, we'll save this one for last. Yeah, right. You know when they're sitting there in the hotel room and they're honeymooning, they're going through the envelopes. They're like, oh, it's Anthony's. Right. Let's take this one for last. And then, you know, you, <laughs> you feel like a shithead if you don't give them like five Gs. <laughs> you shouldn't give. I mean, that should be banned, giving checks All right. at the wedding. Well, I mean, remember that. What should you give? Piss. A turkey baster, um, <laughs> an Artificial oven. Artificial insemination. You don't know what these weddings cost. Most of the time, you're trying to get the money back that you put out for oh. the wedding. Our wedding is going to be very simple. We're just going to be in, just like under a tree. That's it. We're going to be under a tree for Joshua the wedding. Joshua Tree? That'd be nice. All right, that's another tree. one. What about these fuckers now? Like, we'd love you to come to our wedding. It's in Hawaii. What? Yeah, no. Now I got to catch a plane. Yeah. Stay at a place all for your wedding. You can't just go to work the next day. Well, something. you can enjoy it. Uh, you don't have a holiday. Yeah. I'll pick my own fucking holidays. Yeah. I don't need you picking the date and the destination of my next getaway. If it's over five five hour drive, I don't go. No. Anywhere in America, wedding or not. If I found that someone's getting married in the other studio, I wouldn't go over there. <laughs> I swear to God, I don't like that. I don't like a funeral. Too much standing around waiting, and it's all about them. Well, funeral, I mean, I think that's a different story. Yeah. Well, come over and stare at my dead uncle. I don't fucking understand it. <laughs> Never got the way get it. the funeral thing. Never yeah. understood it. No. Well, well that's rem about respect. Remembering I mean. people the way they were, <laughs> fine by me. <laughs> respect how? What's respectful well, about dead. a dead guy in a suit? 
laying down. Most of these people you've never seen asleep. Now you got to look at them dead. If you want, walked into their bedroom while they were sleeping, everybody would be freaked out. <laughs> now you're allowed to walk up and kiss them while they're dead. Oh, well, I didn't say you had to kiss them. Yeah. That's just When I was weird. a little kid, my grandmother would be like, Ooh. give her a kiss. I had to reach over and kiss a dead person. Holy yeah. no way. Yeah. What the hell kind of torture chamber were you <laughs> living in? Drunk Irish Kiss people. the dead everybody, person. Everybody was wasted. Yeah. So yeah. scary. Yeah. I saw yeah, chairs yeah. got knocked over at a wake one time. <laughs> Two of my uncles <laughs> throwing <laughs> fists. <laughs> They're laying on the ground. They're too fucking drunk to stand up. <laughs> They're laying on the ground, swinging and kicking like little kids. <laughs> Oh, go really give her a kiss. Good. Come on, get up and give her a kiss. Ooh, what did it feel like? A very cold. Yeah. And actually, and the thing is, I'm I felt the same way about watching him drink piss. Like you're yeah. trying not to gag on your way okay. back. Tongues? <laughs> you, yeah. Your no, tongue? No. No. Uh, forehead. <laughs> oh, I gave okay. it like his forehead. Because if you <laughs> oh forehead. If you kiss in the face, it starts to move a little bit. Oh, and you fuck it up. You don't want to shake and that up. And I saw that happen. Yeah. The whole face will fall. It's yeah. barely propped up there. And when then they put him in the suit, like they need yeah. that for eternity, and shoes. Front of this. Oh, and then our family would throw in cash and a bottle and cigarettes. Hey, here's yeah. for the trip. Right. <laughs> like you're going. You never paid for a beer run. Right. You fuck. Yeah, now all of a sudden you're going. in. I put a C note in his pocket. That is a wasted hundred. <laughs> and by the way, it's only in front of a suit. Is it? Yeah, because they can't fit those things properly. Ridiculous. So you're only really buying the front of a suit. Roll them over. That's what I like to do. Don't say, where's <laughs> the rest great. of it? Also, I had it on. When my grandfather got uh, buried, uh, my uncle comes in. He's, you know, of course, trying to make up for the fact that he, he never was around anyway, right? He makes the announcement at the last second. I want to be there when he shuts that so he doesn't steal that ring. If my, my oh. grandfather is wearing some ring, it probably went for 200 My uncle makes this fucking thing that the undertaker is going to try to peel the ring off. <laughs> that went over like shit. Everybody yelling at him, pushing and shoving. What a terrible what thing. What a cast the character. Yeah, this is awful. <laughs> When my grandfather died, my my little brother was still really young, and my cousin, about the same age, the funeral home director had to come over and tell my mom, could you get the boys to quit touching the body? They're actually taking the makeup off of him. Like it was what chipping off. They just kept... They, like they, a birthday cake. Yeah, they like, would go like up there the and, like, rub his <laughs> yeah. hand and stuff. Like what, is, what is it about a kid can't take their hand off a they birthday cake? Love it. I saw a kid hug one. He literally <laughs> fucking just hugged it like it was a pillow. Like kids. That's why you go to a kid's party and they offer you a cake. I'm like, no. <laughs> like a booger hand little fucker to uh, smear his hands through that. See, that's another thing that people put you out with. Now people will invite you to their five-year-old's party. Stop. I can't do it. Yeah, you will get a thing. Uh, every age, they make a big deal. Oh, guess who's graduating from kindergarten? And they expect you to show up and they expect a present. That's great. Got a little diploma with his own feces on it. <laughs> Who didn't get out of kindergarten? <laughs> yeah. How is this any accomplishment? We're lying to kids. If you think you've accomplished something with kindergarten. <laughs> they have a little ceremony. And, you know, it's funny. But I don't feel it's like I need to go into the adorable. wallet. You know? It's got to be adorable. They give them little caps and gowns. Yeah, they do. Aww. It's a, and then they sing. That's great. I had one. Did you? For, for St. Catharines. For kindergarten. That was your last one. Your only real graduation. <laughs> <laughs> he was 12. For kindergarten? Is that what you had? Yeah. It was great. Yeah, we, we had <laughs> little <laughs> gowns and everything, and we threw up our hats. Yeah. <laughs> like you, like you, like you threw up here. that piss. <laughs> it's pretty, pretty similar. We're out of here. Yeah. We're on the first Ooh. grade. <laughs> Made it. Recru We're... Recruiters coming down <laughs> for big tech firms. <laughs> Listen, anyway, we can talk to you. I know you're pretty busy with your family. But we like what we see here. Give today. you a football scholarship. <laughs> We've been looking at some of the coloring, and it's unbelievable. <laughs> There's a place for you. But they invite you, yeah, to kids' parties or things Everything. like that. And I don't want any part of when they go to candy, like a handful of candy. Right. And it's sticky. It's like pre-licked. <laughs> I, don't, I don't want that. And their mothers and fathers are like, okay, give me that. And they'll eat it because, you know, it's their shit. Sure, what it's do they care? Spit. They don't care. But they're, they're and then they look the all insulted when you don't take their snotty-handed kid's cake out and of their hand. Some little kid's trying to pull you in to see their room, and you're like, what is this, Dateline? Yeah, I got great. a TV. I'm not going to fucking wander in there with you. <laughs> and then I later need. here, I pulled my pants down. <laughs> Fuck <laughs> that. <laughs> <laughs> You'll never find me alone with a kid 
I don't go. When I go, whenever I walk into like a restroom and all I see is a kid in there, I walk right the fuck out. You ever see these guys? They bring their daughters in. Yeah. You fucking bring a four year old girl in. Why a bunch of guys got their fucking cocks That's out? It's beautiful. You're like, isn't what, it? You know what? I'm not a pedophile, but look what you're doing now. What are you doing? Now you kid? got my fucking wheels turning. <laughs> <laughs> it's at every airport bathroom. Yeah, that's true. I don't like that. I don't like to see anybody's changing a baby in there. <laughs> no. It's women's stuff. You don't want to see that. Yeah, we do. we've been like whipped to the point yeah. where that little fucking fold out plastic tables in every uh right. every bathroom. You got to walk past and see some guy fumbling with a diaper. I know. And uh, yeah. I don't think there's a man in history that can honestly do that correctly to no. go through it's the full cleanup thing. process and you know, that's why there's so much diaper rash. It's like, watching, men a, open. Yeah. It's like <laughs> watching a woman take down a fucking elk with a rifle. Yeah. It's just, you're not going to see it. <laughs> it doesn't belong out no, there. No, it doesn't look right. Now there's this new sickness of this thing that they're doing, I guess, in the South and the Midwest, where the father gives the daughter a ring, a promise ring, to not have sex until... And they have a fucking ceremony, and they invite... And basically... Oh. Creepy. It's the opportunity for these southern guys to say, I own this little girl's pussy, and I will decide when it's given away. And what's the name of it? Some kind of balls or something? Purity, Purity ball. Purity ball That's is it. the name of it. This is the fucking maniac society we live in now. A purity ball yeah. where the father yeah. is responsible for the pussy. The father is responsible okay. for the little girl's purity until that wedding day. They even exchange vows. It's that very sick. Very creepy. It's that Look it sick. up online. Just Google any kind of purity ball. It's very... And it's gaining popularity all over. They're doing shows on it now. They're renting rooms. They show this thing on TV where the little girl's like in her gown, like looking tired. And she's sitting on her dad's lap. She's like 14. <laughs> and it was like you went to the prom with her. It's really disgusting. He, and what's going to happen one day? She's like 16 or 17, and he looks over, and the ring's not on her? Ring's gone. Sorry, Pop. you got to understand <laughs> something, Dad. I really want to be friends. I <laughs> love you as a person, but the heart does what it wants. There's nothing I can do about this. And they'll have these purity balls for, like, you know, girls, you know, through high school, all the way down to, like, eight years old. The eight-year-old girl is learning about her purity. Yeah. Wow. Making it sexual. Now, here's the beauty thing. No father seems to want to do this with his son. Have a ceremony. I don't want you to fuck anybody <laughs> until you're married. If that happened, he'd think he uh, he had a gay kid. He would be terrified. Yeah. Well, that one you give him a cock ring. <laughs> tell him to have a good time. The this will keep ball. it hard, son. <laughs> Get out there. Put this cock ring on. Believe <laughs> me. Stop worrying. <laughs> Stop. Me. The worrying is what's going to cause problems. I give you, son, this cock ring. <laughs> Just now you must vow. Oh, I'm so nervous. <laughs> They're very painful, though. What, a cock ring? Yeah. You tried I one? I tried one. You wearing one now? <laughs> no. Maybe that's the problem. <laughs> no, I tried one. Lose the jewelry. Place. So what happened with you? Just it, it squeezed and it, like it, all the blood rushed oh my into God. the cock and I it was pissing the head. Your cock must have looked like the elevator scene in The Shining. Yeah. So you were pissing blood <laughs> then too? Yeah, but that that was like uh, a few years ago. Mm -hmm. So Where? I just took off the cock ring. <laughs> <laughs> That's how I got around that problem. Where did you get the cock ring from? I just I, the funny thing is I didn't, wasn't even using it on anyone. I just saw it in a porn. <laughs> what did that was it for jacking off purposes? Yeah, I kind of want to do that. Like whenever I find items, I like to use it to spank it. Yeah. Your butt plug. <laughs> oh. No, but that's how I learned I'm not into ass play. You have to <laughs> experiment with yourself. No, right. no you don't. No. Uh, this guy wants to tell us, Morgan wants to tell us about purity balls. Hey, Morgan. Hey, boys. How you hey, doing? Hey, buddy. You know, my uh, younger brother got married. It's been about uh, 10 years ago, and uh, his uh, his wife's dad, or I guess his father-in-law, was a was an actual preacher and gave his daughter one of those things, and it was the weirdest goddamn thing in the whole world. And then what's even more sick about it is uh, about two or three years later, the son of a bitch got convicted of uh, molestation. I, the whole thing. The I mean, whole, it doesn't yeah. even shock me. Even That's suddenly, very, there's no way a father should be thinking about these things. Very incestuous. You know? Oh, it was a, it was the weirdest goddamn thing I've ever seen in my life. It was really, really disturbing. How does the and, uh, how does the wife feel that you're taking a younger version of her, right? And you're standing there with this image of what you guys did when you got married, right? You know how how is how would the wife feel looking at that? Oh, this is great. <laughs> Those <laughs> what, what, they what tend to go along. Yeah. 
what was so weird about it is he takes the ring off and then he hands it to my brother. Oh God! And it's like you know, here you go, boy. You know, you just tear it up. You know, don't worry, honey. It's just going to sting for a this second. This is yours oh, now. I get, it's like, like you're handing the keys over to a car. Yeah, exactly. Believe me, take care of this. I had this bet yeah. for 20 years. <laughs> weirdest Low weirdest mileage. thing where, and then it turns out he was a he was a damn pedophile anyway. I, and, uh, I can't imagine that it was anything else. I cannot imagine that there's any thought, any time that the father is thinking about his daughter's sexuality is just bizarre to me. Yeah, you yeah. just put a, your, Any uh, of that conversation starts up with her and mom. You get up and leave. You go outside and smoke nah, or something. It's the old see no evil, hear no evil. Right, speak, go in the no garage, evil, start working. Don't want to know anything about it. I was creeped out when I I found my sister, uh, you know, Dawn. Yeah. My sister. <laughs> my <laughs> girlfriend. Uh, I, I found we were moving. Mm -hmm. uh, and um, I, I guess she was, I don't even remember how old, maybe, maybe 14, 15. Uh -huh. And um, uh, we're moving her dresser and her drawer opens up, the top drawer, and I find a Trojan condom mm. in little Dawnie's uh, <laughs> uh, dresser. And me and my brother just started cracking up. <laughs> but it was so creepy. Right. It was like, all of a sudden, it's like, oh, no, she's... Uh, and then you can't do anything but picture her, like, laying there, getting <laughs> fucked. And it's just so, like, oh, right? the imagery runs through <laughs> right. your head. Well, that, the, yeah, the <laughs> thing is this. Awful. Because, like, with sisters, because you grew up around them yep. and you've seen them at their worst and how they bitch at you and stuff, you can't imagine anyone is attracted to no. them. No. <laughs> when you're a kid, somebody's coming over to pick your sister up. You're like, what's with this fucking asshole? No. It's, like, <laughs> it's not that you're protective. You're like, what is wrong with yeah, you? Yeah, what's wrong with you? Why do you want that? <laughs> She's, She's good for getting up and changing the channel and getting me a fucking soda. She screams. Yeah. She screams and tells. You're gonna get you're gonna get fucking told on. I'm guaranteeing you that. She's been a rat her whole life. It's bizarre. But these guys, they're so into it now they wanna make sure they're taking care of that man. Ugh. Ugh. That is creepy. Weird fucking Nothing country like that we going have. on mm. with the uh, wife's uh, family, right? Oh, no. Okay. Because no. I heard, where is he? He's a southern guy? The uh, father? Yeah, I mean, he was originally now. from New York, but oh, then really? down yeah. south. Yeah. Moved down south? Yeah. But he doesn't sound pleased with you. He doesn't. I mean, what, he has really? this robot chair industry. <laughs> I heard about the robot chair industry. Like gremlins. Please then, feel <laughs> free to sit on me. Robot <laughs> yeah. chair. Robot chair. And, and I found Prince, it I had no idea what it was. Cherry. <laughs> I had no idea what it was until Ronnie kind of like, I was able to read between the lines enough to, to realize it wasn't some type of robot chair. It is. It's an escalator simple. with a seat for an old lady. That's it. It can be used with the young and old. Why I, would I? I rode one. I'm a big guy. You had a cock ring on, too. <laughs> Drag your own piss. It was, Doesn't mean it's normal. It was quite comfortable, and his his yeah. are probably the best line of chairs uh, in the... When, it, when are you supposed to get together with him? Next week? Yeah. Mm, yeah. Wow. That's now, did you have to go through that conversation, Ant, when you were with your chick, or...? Uh, I had one conversation. Usually, I try to go out with girls and, and succeeded most of the time. Any yeah. relationship I've been in, I've been fatherless girls. Smart. Uh, Very you smart. Want, you want dad out of the picture. Mm -hmm. um, but one... Uh, actually, two girls uh, had fathers. One gave me a talking to. I was uh, about... 18 and she was 16 no I think I was 20 and she was 16 oh, something nice. kind of really really <laughs> iffy and uh, he he said hey because I used to uh, uh, like walk home right. I didn't have a car I, didn't have shit. I was a bum right. there's this bum coming over to ravage his 16 year old daughter <laughs> and uh, he, he goes let me give you a ride home drive home so I was like, okay, hop in the van, and he starts giving me this talk about my intentions and how much he cares about his daughter, and if I do anything bad to her, uh, you know, I'm, I'm fucked. And he was threatening me, and I'm, right. I'm a dopey guy. I look back, when you look back, you're embarrassed at yourself, because me now right. would turn around and go, do, do you know what that pussy's like? Right. Like, see, you can threaten me all you want. I am going <laughs> to fuck that thing. <laughs> you can't blame me for this. <laughs> yeah. You cannot you blame me. You can't. And then the other guy was this guy that I swear had to be in love with his daughter. Yeah, there was uh, like that. And she was going off to college, and uh, I was visiting her. And he used to go into the bar that my mother worked at, and I used to go there also. I grabbed a couple of drinks after work and stuff. And uh, I had told my mother that I was going up to see his daughter at college and stay there for the weekend. Apparently to him, that meant I went around the bar and told everyone that oh. I was going to sleep with his daughter. 
up uh, at our college. And he dr- one th- I was over the house, and he sits me down, and he actually said this to me. He goes, let me tell you something, my fine feathered friend. <laughs> what? And I'm sitting there, and, and everything else that came out of his mouth was wah, 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 wah. Because I'm sitting there going, I don't have feathers. <laughs> that made no sense. <laughs> he could have been reciting the most logical <laughs> argument after that, but I'm like, feathered friend. Not since Batman and the Penguin has yes. there been that conversation. Wah, wah, wah. And then I didn't, what gave me a little chuckle was exactly where I was sitting as he's yelling at me. I had had her and, and was <laughs> she was bent over the couch and was just fucking her downstairs as he, him and his wife slept upstairs. And we kept like looking. That's the best. Like you look ever. at the stairs and like, you think you're like sex. a creek and you're like, fuck, is that, is that your father's <laughs> coming downstairs? Right upstairs. It's like, all right, I'll sit here and take your shit. <laughs> What are you going to do? You don't know shit at that age. You're right. like scared of the father. And, you know, you'd like to get up and be the rebel and go, go fuck yourself. But I'm all right. like, okay, uh, whatever. I told him, honey. Uh, none of it works. <laughs> it's all uncomfortable. Yeah, it's just all uncomfortable. Dads, stay out of it. Right. Just stay the fuck out of it. They're going to do what they do. I got a good relationship with my in-laws. Though. With my chick, I give her 15 minutes to pack up. I say, you got 15 minutes, <laughs> pack up and goodbyes. Wow. All together. Uh, that's and a good guy. I, yeah. And I said, hey, if we ever have any kids, you're getting pictures. All right, take care, everybody. <laughs> Adios. You're, you're going to get pictures. You definitely will. Yeah, the, the, the ones without the dads, though. That's, that's the way to go. I see? wish. Now you wish, see? Yeah. Oh, I'm sure you like are. to hear that. No, I mean, I don't wish. I don't wish. You oh, wish boy. There is no. a bit of baggage that goes along with it. Yeah. Got to be honest with you. <laughs> Throughout the years, I've noticed a tad bit of baggage that goes along with it. But the sacrifice you make dealing with the fact that, you know, dad might have left on Christmas Day right. uh, back when you were a kid or something like that is definitely worth not having to deal with the father. Yeah, it's better that he, like, uh, you know, was awful and left than if he died. Right. When, when, and exactly. now he's Never same. had one of those. Now he's the same. No, I always had the scumbag dad <laughs> or one of the dads that just, like, left or... Something like that. Th- that's fine, because then you only got to deal with the tears on, like, Father's Day. Right. Something like that. Well, I didn't have all oh, okay. Or anytime you get drunk and yell, it's happening again. Yeah, Believe yeah, me, yeah. I went through this like at 11. That. Yeah. But I went through this once. It's well worth it. Come right. Well, you want to go out, son? Where are we going? <laughs> Shut up. Yeah, I'm, you know, you like father. fishing? Yeah, right. That. I just happen to be too. fucking something you right. made with your wife. I, I do not believe in the whole call me dad. No. No, I have one. Not thanks. my dad. <laughs> Stop it. <laughs> I think I got to get out of here. All right, you're got a off. plane. Account. I'm going to Vegas, kids. We'll see you in 24 Big hours. Show. I know. <laughs> Enjoy. I swear to God, it is. It's like a military operation. We're parachuting in. <laughs> uh, then they're going to dust off. And uh, we're choppering out. <laughs> Are you guys back on the air Monday? You're taking off. Oh, fuck. Got to be back on the air. What? You're Ridiculous. Take a Ridiculous. day off. Go crazy. All right. Safe trip, uh, buddy. Uh, thank you, gentlemen. Have there a good one. There he goes. Stay, uh, Anthony, congrats, Mr. Anthony. Anthony. Thank and, you. Uh, um, I have to decline about the best man thing. <laughs> oh, <laughs> <Aww>. <laughs> Damn it! I really Can up. you say a few words to Mr. Opie then <laughs> for me? Uh, I hope I'll, he'll I'll do it. Him. I know for a fact Opie will do it. it. He'll do it. All right. All right. He wants All right. to. There, See ya. <laughs> <laughs> that actually makes your decision easier now. All right. That was great. You uh, drink some piss and you give us a free hour and 15. <laughs> you get today's Ronnie B. Star of the Day. <laughs> yes! You are Ronnie B. Star of the Day. <laughs> Face, Earl! <laughs> <laughs> Fucking man is brilliant. It's scary. I know. Thank God he's out here. <laughs> what if I had him to talk to all the time? Like you guys. Can you imagine how the conversation just flows? Best show ever. Just someone who. Just the joy of being around someone who knows his own opinion. <laughs> Instead of looking around at three guys going, whoa. <laughs> I don't know, Siri, huh? <laughs> I wonder what Rod's going to think about on this issue. <laughs> Too much pressure. <laughs> he just seems to know what he's talking about. Yeah. He's not guessing. No. Well, like Earl's over there going like this. I don't know, freedom? He's always trying to guess the correct answer to say.